What I'd like to show you is a little tour of the settings that I have on Zoom that I found work best for me after using it for online education for about two weeks. So I'm going to take you on a little tour of the settings and then I'm going to start a Zoom meeting and then I'll show you where each of those settings are and what they do or why you may or may not want them checked. All right, so let's get started on what the settings are. I'm going to try to go pretty quickly through this because you can always pause it and rewind it. The host video participant video I have off to make it simple when everybody enters the meeting. I don't let anybody join the meeting without me being in the meeting. I do like to do the password and uh, sometimes I randomize the meeting code that allows me to make sure that just the participants that I want or students that I want are in the meeting. So I sometimes randomize that and have a password. Next is the setting of muting everybody on entry I think is important. You can do this in the meeting also, but I think it's nice just to have it preset to that. Next is I have the chat function on. I use that a lot for having students answer questions. It allows me to collect a little bit of assessment, um, formative assessment data. They can just answer the question back to me or for the whole group. They can also use that when they are working in breakout rooms. And then I just um, left this one as um, unchecked, but you could check it if you don't want uh, people to save the chat. Private chat I do not have on. It's one-to-one, um, -one, doesn't seem to be important at this point for me. I do have that it's gonna auto save the chats. And I have it that when participants enter or leave that it'll make a noise just to me just a dinging noise and I think it's helpful. Next, I use the file transfer a lot. Um, my students are studying for the AP Chem exam, so when they start working together, it allows me to give them help by maybe an answer key that I've created or some kind of document that would help them or maybe they're moving ahead in that group so they can keep going. And when I do that, it only gives it to just that one breakout group, which is very handy. Uh, next, the next button that I have is the screen sharing. Um, I find that that's important to have on for yourself, of course. For my students working in groups, it's been really important to have that to, in the breakout room, be able to share each other's screen. So I've had no problem um, with that one being open. Uh, next, the annotation feature. I figured this out way late in the game. That's nice when you're online. You can highlight something, circle something right on the screen. So that has been really helpful. If I had a stylus or a writing device, a whiteboard would be really handy. Um, I do not. The next one is the nonverbal feedback. That's a late game one that I didn't realize till just this week. If you really want to have your students muted the whole time or you have a big group, this is really nice because people have more than just thumbs up, thumbs down. There's um, a hand, hand raise. There's also taking a break. There's can you go slower? Can you have the, you know, speed up? I, you know, things like that. So that's been really helpful, I think. I don't let them rejoin. To me, if they have the code and the password, they should be able to get back in if they need to. The next thing is the breakout room. I made a separate video on that. Um, closed captioning, I just tried this week to see how that would go. I'm not, a, I'm not sold on that one, but I left it on. And then virtual background is off. Identify guests, that's fine. Um, next one is auto tracking. I just turned that on this week. I'll see how I like it in terms of seeing if people are paying attention. The waiting room to me has been my favorite feature. I have students enter one by one or I can admit them all. Um, I was using this feature to take attendance and also ask them questions and then check their homework completion. So it was like I was standing at the digital door letting everybody in one by one. Um, next is Jen, just the email notification, and then um, I don't really have anything else after that. So I'm just going to really slowly kind of scroll back up, making sure I covered um, all the features that I think were the most important. The virtual background, I don't see the benefit in that. I guess it could be good or bad, so I just leave it off. I don't think there's a lot of use for it at this point. Um, I think that's good. So I'm just going to again scroll back up to the top so you can get one last look of what I have set. And um, I'll open up um, a meeting, and then I'm going to have myself actually join the meeting so that you can see what it's like to have um, at least one participant. So I'm going to do video on. This is a random code, so this is um, not uh, useful except for a one-time code. So that meeting ID at the top would be randomized. I like that feature. So I'm going to join on um, my phone. And then this will just take me a second, so I guess be patient. 
you can kind of look at the other features. Let me actually shrink and move down my screen so you can take a look at the features that are down there if you haven't used Zoom. Or what, what I have different compared to you if you do use Zoom. I have a password set, so I'm going to need that password. And again, this is a one-time password. Just making sure I type it in right so I don't have to do this twice. And then I'm not going to uh, join with video so that you're just going to see a photo of me and I probably won't have. There we go. So you heard that little um, noise that let you know me know that I was being admitted to my own meeting. So then I can, you can hit C, waiting room. I'm just going to shrink this down as small as I can and put it kind of off the side up here. So I can admit. I can also let everybody in. This is the non-verbal setup that you have. These are the choices. So you can yes, no, go slower, faster, more. Um, raise hand, thumbs up, thumbs down, out to uh, need a break, or just I'm away. So you can admit that person. I'll just admit myself. I'm just going to go to gallery view, and then you just see the two of me. And then what I'm going to do is just pin my video um, there. Then after that, you've got the breakout room, closed caption, chat. So I'm going to hit this button, the chat one. You can then talk to each participant separately or to everyone. Here again is where you can uh, have a file from your computer or Google. All right. I'm going to hit cancel. I'm not going to add anything. These little three buttons is where, let me close actually this so that you can see here. These three buttons you can do uh, host only, everyone publicly. I do not have that the students can talk to themselves, so that's not an option at, for me. So I'm just gonna say hello to the whole group, which is just me and myself here. But then um, I'm gonna say something back on my phone here. So you'll see this pop up. I'm just gonna say hi. Then if the chat wasn't on, don't worry. You don't have to keep that chat on the whole time. Let me move this out of the way. This little timer up here I went through in a different video. So I'm just going to do this and say, um, hello. There you'd see your uh, participant, and then you can open up the chat and respond. Okay. And then the next thing would be the annotations. Let me go and do a screen share. you got some options here. You click the green button. I'm just going to go to Google Chrome, and then I'm just going to pick up a, a, a you know a PowerPoint that I have, just so it makes it easy. Um, then what you can do is hover over this green section here and this annotate sitting here. And if you were just on you know the inner like you know you were just looking for something, let me just hit draw. Maybe you want a circle. You can hit clear, undo. Um, the other thing is you know let's say you were searching. Let me hit back to that. Let's say you're just looking on the internet for just chemistry. Oops, I did not spell chemistry right at all. <laughs> too, type, type way too fast here. Good enough. Let's just go to chemistry latest research. So let's say you were talking about this, you know, this article or this site. Um, you could then, you know, if you're saying, you know, you underline something that's important and you can go back. Okay, so then that's the screen share. I'm going to hit stop share. That's the annotate. Those are all those features. Um, you can still hit more here and go chat. You can hit record. I'm going to do that next so that you can see that you can record different parts of the YouTube, or not YouTube, of the Zoom session. So um, I'm going to hit cancel because I don't want to end the meeting. So I'm just going to hit stop share. So what I'm going to do is two more things. Um, I'm going to go back and open up the chat so that there's a little bit more in there. So I'm going to say, um, you know, what is your favorite color? And then on here, I'm just going to answer what it is. It's purple. So I have a little bit more in the chat. So when I save that, you can see what that looks like. I'm going to hit close there. The other thing I found out, too, is you can re record different portions of it. So what I'm going to do is record right now um, and just record, you know, the fact that I think that it would my, I think my flower started to bloom. Okay, so maybe you record that. And then um, it says over here, the recording's being converted. So then let's say you were chatting with your students or your participants and then maybe you went back to screen sharing something like maybe you wanted to then go back and you wanted to go over, you know, a presentation. You can start to record again. So you'd hit record and then you go screen share and then, you know, or the whiteboard, whatever you want to use. And then um, I've got, you know, this up here, so I'm going to move that down. You can click this button to be one or just me talking. Since there's enough of me, I'm going to do that. And then I'm just going to hit present right here up at the top of my screen here. 
and then you know out you go because I have it set up that I have too many things running I can't um, be on top of that you know I'd have to actually pop myself back up here uh, to do that so I'm gonna hit stop sharing we're back to here again I'm gonna stop recording and then let me show you where all those things went so we have two recordings and we have the chat and uh, I think I went through and showed you all the features that I had set and why I had them set. Um, remember, there's a lot of things you can still control here. You can still control a lot in the chat. Um, you can still control a lot in the participants tab with um, muting and unmuting. And then the more column here where you can choose a lot of things um, on that as you're doing this, this Zoom conference. All right. So let's end the meeting. And then I'm going to show you where everything ends up getting saved. And you'd want to hit end meeting and then end meeting for all is important. I wouldn't really just leave a meeting because that leaves everybody else hanging. So I would hit end meeting for all. Um, and there it's going to show that, you know, what's being, you know, converted. Hopefully we didn't record that much. This will be fast. Then after it's all recorded, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger for myself here since we now we're just back down to one of me. And then you can kind of see where that goes. You can see that I've done a couple trials here, so the code is different both times because I did a unique code. I'm just trying to expand myself here a little bit. There we go. So these are two different codes because I didn't use my actual meeting ID. Here's that first, um, or sorry, here's the first Zoom one, and you can hit play. Just record, you know, the fact that I think that it would be There's my flowers I think I was talking about, and then here's where I went and screen shared. And then you go screen share and then, you know, or the whiteboard, whatever you want to use. And then um, I've got, you know, this up here. So I'm going to move that down. You can click this button to be one. Or All right. Just talking. I'm going to slow that down. Then the next thing you could do is here's that chat. I didn't have a lot in the chat. So I'll just open that up. You can see that. And let me um, zoom it back down so you can see there it is saved. And let me make this smaller here so you can see me. And then um, the other thing, too, is if you ever have that happen, you don't want it going over, you just grab these ends like this, and you can still have your face on the screen. This is something I showed in another video, too, how to do that so that I'm still on top of all this stuff. The next thing is if you go to these, you can always trim them, too. So let's say, you know, right here, I didn't really want to have, um, you know, this beginning part where I wasn't really talking. You can just drag it. Um, the other thing I found is if you hold it, you can get much slower changes. Um, so if I were to hold this end, you can go just by, you know, parts of a second. Or if you let it go, you can drag it really far over and really cut quite a bit off. And then you can just hit done. And then that's going to be ask you if you want to replace that clip or save it as a new clip. I don't really care. So I'm going to hit replace because I'm not really going to use this. And then you can see that even some of the features are showing up on there. All right, so there we go. I think that hopefully should answer a lot of questions um, and help you quite a bit with what you want to do with Zoom if you can use it. I know a lot of educators are able to use it. I know a lot are not. So um, good luck with everything. Um, wishing everybody the best. Um, we're doing what we can as educators. And um, I hope that this helps you somewhat. I know I spent two weeks learning it learning it. So hopefully maybe this will help you learn it a lot faster if you don't have time to take that much uh, effort and time to put into it. All right. Good luck. Thanks for tuning in.